Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Bad to the Stone shop. Should be a really quick video today. I'm just trying to figure out where to mount this front license plate holder. Have to have that here in Texas. And I wanna keep it low and out of the way. I think I've seen some people mount it up here high on the bumper. So I'm gonna use these three holes that are already on the bumper right here. And I'm gonna make a couple of little brackets, kind of angle it back a little bit, use those bolt holes on the back. And I think I can get that tucked nicely right there out of the way up front. Again, angled back a little bit, still visible enough. Use those existing holes. So let's go head over to the shop and cut a couple of aluminum brackets and see if we can't get that to line up on there nicely. All right, let's see how we did with the fit on our template. Knocked one out, make sure this works, and then we'll go back in the shop and I'll show you how I made this and we'll make the other one. So you'll have to screw it onto the bumper first is the design. So size 40 Torx is what we're dealing with up here. That is definitely gonna be tucked up there a little tight. I think we're gonna need to bring that down a little bit. All right, we're gonna go somewhere about there. So right about there is what that's gonna look like. Just a little bit of bracket sticking out. We'll go make a matching one for the other side and that should work pretty darn awesome. All right, well, let me go make sure I get the camera turned on this time and we'll go show you how I made this bracket. So we're pretty much the same. We're just gonna put our rounded side, make the mirror image of this for the other side. All right, let's go take a look at what we did. All right, so to make one of these, we're just using some inch and a half by one eighth flat bar out of aluminum and really just a little bit of a bend on an angle. So we got our one for that side. So we've got that one done. Now we need to build one for this side. Now basically, I'm just gonna line it up sort of on an angle. It's gonna come over to this edge after we bend it. It pretty much just kind of lines up against that piece of plastic. Let me see, there we go. If I flip it over, because I cut the other one at that angle, that's pretty much already set, but otherwise, just going to hold it at the angle you need it, get your Sharpie on the back side, mark it, cut it with the hacksaw, because if it's square, then it'll just be sticking out the bottom a bit. I'm just going to go ahead and grind that, round off those corners a little bit, and then we're going to measure up an inch and a half. That's what we need for the bend. We'll measure up an inch and a half on each side. Again, since it's on an angle, draw our line on an angle, put it in the vise, give it a bend. All right, let me clean up this edge on the grinder, and then we'll get our line on there. Just hold it in place on the back of the bracket. It should be flush on the bottom plastic as it's being held over to that edge. All right, make sure we got our bend going the right way. Inch and a half, inch and a half. Now we wanna make sure we clamp it in our vise at that same angle so that our bend lines up. And we're bending it about to there. I would say that's pretty close. No, didn't bend it quite far enough. Need to go just a hair more on our bend. All right, I would say that is close enough for what we're doing. So then we've got our bend. You can see it lines up nicely there on the bottom. And we're gonna flip this over and basically grind it around like so. Be a good match to our other one. Just hacksaw that off there quickly and then I can put it on the grinder to mostly knock that corner off. All right, a little rougher belt on the grinder. We'll knock this off. All right, so we've got our bracket done, except it's our opposite side. So now we're gonna get in here and or let's get our holes drilled in here. All right, let's go up and under. So we need to be about, oh, it's about 
575 to the middle of our hole. Okay, and we're about half an inch or so down. All right, pretty close to where I had my little red mark, so we'll call that good. We'll go with how oh, I just measured that one. A little center punch there. So I'm just using a quarter inch stainless bolt here for the bottom. So I'm just gonna drill it a 30 second oversize. And then the bolts on the vehicle are eight millimeter or the same as five sixteenths. So drilling a 30 second over that on the top one there. So let's get our holes in here. And just deburr that a little bit, clean up the edge of that hole. Get our top one in there. And there we've got them. Our pair of matching brackets. Now we're just gonna go bolt this one on and then we'll give it a quick bend out like we did this one once it's on the vehicle to get it at about the same angle there. Bolt our bottoms in place. Probably put some paint on these real quick, but let's go get that bent and more or less mocked up on the install. Make sure it's all a good fit and then we'll go get some black paint on these before we bolt them in place. All right, we'll get that on there snug. And that should be pretty close to where this other one is. And let's get these spaced out where they need to be. We need that just a little snug. All right, get them just snug. So that we can drop these holes in and then figure out where these need to be. Pretty much right there. Well, there's another quick project. Let me grab my other camera, kind of get you a close up on that. Well, here's a quick close up on the fab job on these little aluminum brackets to hold your front license plate in using the existing bolt mounts on there. So we've got that bent off on the bottom. This plastic piece lines right up on those two holes there, and that is gonna bolt in place just like that. So again, uses two holes already on that front license plate holder, angled in, lines up perfectly on there, angled out of the way, kind of at the same, you know, as that skid plate. So I really don't think that should interfere with, even if you're off-roading, should still be legal enough. Worst case, you can always just give it a tug and bend it down further if you need it to point even more towards the front. I'm gonna go ahead and put some paint on those to finish them up, just to make them black, but otherwise, 20, 30 minutes worth of work, and you don't have to have the license plate popping up or sticking up on the grill like I've seen some of the other ones on this Bronco. So there's an easy way to fab up place down below. All right, pretty simple little brackets for that front license plate. Got a little bit of paint on those. Yeah, probably got a little run on them too, but they're gonna be almost completely hidden. Let's go get these things bolted on. Yeah, another little run of the paint on there. That's all right, let's go get these things on and see how it looks. All right, one quick add in. I was a little concerned about all that flex in case this thing is bouncing, pulling off of this one hole down here on the bottom. So I just added a, another little hole up here on the top. Gonna put a zip strip through there, pull it around through here. License plate can just sit flat on top of that zip strip. So just added a little hole in our piece underneath and it's aluminum so we don't have to repaint any of that. It's not gonna corrode. Just punch a zip strip through there and hold it in place. Give it a little extra security for vibration. All right, let's get this all bolted up into place here. Get those snug enough, they'll hold in place. All right, that's spaced out properly. Looks fairly even. And again, I've just got some three quarter inch stainless hardware, a couple flat washers. A nylock nut to make sure that stays on there. A 
Voila, all right, that is in there nice and tight. We're just gonna go ahead and add these zip strips just to make sure got any additional vibration control, whatever, anything else out of the way there. That is it. Well, that is nice and solid. I don't think that is gonna go anywhere. Pop our front license plate on there when it comes in. We are good to go. Well, that's it, simple. Do it yourself, do it at home. Front license plate holder. Let me get a nice close up of what that looks like there, all in black, and we'll call this video a wrap. Well, YouTube, that's what that looks like fully installed. Pretty simple. Run to Home Depot, pick up some 1 8 by 1 and a half aluminum, and you know, 20, 30 minute project in the shop and you can have a front license plate holder. I'd say that thing is plenty secure, adjustable for any angle that you need. I think that's still plenty legal for a front license plate in Texas, even though it's slowed back a little bit. So anyway, appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now's a great time to do it. Doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and we will have some more mod videos coming out for Pebbles in the future. All right, till next time, hope y'all are keeping it bad to the stone. We'll be here in the shop working on some more mods for Pebbles and get another video out to y'all. Take care.